Well, today, Genesis chapter 3, verse 5. For God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Satan is the originator of unbelief. In conversation with Eve, he targeted the character of God and imputed base intentions to God. All unbelief is based on ascribing something to God's character that is not there or on taking something away from God that is there. The moment we think that God could forget us or think he could in any way be unkind, we stumble in our faith. Unbelief is a grievous prison that leads to despair and sorrow. But the answer always lies within our reach. We can choose to believe the word of God and the perfect faithfulness of the one who spoke it. Unbelief seeks to undermine the foundations of the universe since the universe rests on God's unchanging goodness and love. Faith is the foundation of our inner life and the source of strength and stability. We are weakened whenever we entertain any notion that is not true about God. Our ability to work and pray is then undermined. But the moment we realize what is happening, we are released from that dark dungeon and we are refreshed. God is love. Yeah, think about that. He is the very definition of faithfulness. He has never broken a promise or said anything that he did not mean. He is faithful to hear our prayers and we must hold fast to the power of his promises. Faith must be tested if it is to grow. And there will be days when it seems as if the foundations of the universe are being shaken. The fact is that the universe is built on God's immutable, unchangeable kindness. I am connected to that foundation through faith, and I must declare my trust, whether in perfect sunshine or in the teeth of a tempest. The fiercest storms come when his face is hidden. But wait a while. And the clouds will depart, and we will see that he has not changed, and he cannot change. God bless you.